Hi, I'm Evan, founder and CTO of Twofer, and I want to show you how ridiculously easy it is as a developer to authenticate things using our API. First step is to head to our developer portal at dev.twofer.com. Once you've signed up for an account, you'll want to head to the My Requesters section where you can create a new requester. Pick a name that's short and recognizable for your users. I'll go with myface.com. In the description field, you can expand a bit more to remind them what your service does. The place for my face. Once you've created a requester, we'll give you a set of credentials that you can use to access our API. For that, you'll want to use one of our language libraries. Head over to github.com slash twofer, where we've provided language libraries for a lot of the popular languages. Today, I'll be using Twofer Python, the language library for Python, one of my favorite languages. You can either download it directly from GitHub, or you can use the built-in Python packaging tool, pip. We'll do pip install twofer. And I'll pop into the IPython shell to show you how to use it, but you can use these same calls in wherever it makes sense to in your own application. First step is to import Twofer. And then you'll want to set up an API object that uses the credentials we just created at the developer portal. Once you have that set up, the next step is to pair. For that, we'll turn to the phone. On this phone, I've got a fresh install of Twofer. Just click the Add Pairing button, and you'll get a pairing phrase. In this case, I got Burning Fork. Now pop back over to the IPython shell, where you can create a pairing by invoking the pair method on the API object. We'll provide that pairing phrase, Burning Fork, along with a username. I'll use my email address, but you can use whatever makes sense for your application. When you submit this request, it'll push the details to the user's phone. Well, they'll see exactly what they're pairing with and can choose to allow it. When I click Allow, you can see it shows up as a fresh pairing in my pairing list. Now that you're paired, you can authenticate or perform authentication. For that, it's very similar to pairing. This time, we'll invoke the authenticate method on the API object. You'll provide the pairing ID that you created in the previous step along with a name for the terminal. Since I'm using my Mac, I'll use that string, my Mac. When you submit this request, again the details will be pushed to the phone, where with a swipe, they'll see exactly what it is they're authenticating. I'll go ahead and click Allow, and at this point the authentication is completed. You're going to want to check the status of it now. For this, use the get authentication status method with the ID of the authentication request you created in the previous step. Really quickly, you can see that it's no longer pending, pending equals false, and that the user chose to grant it, with granting equals true. So that's all it takes to use Twofer to authenticate things, and it doesn't just stop at logins. Whether it's posting to your Facebook wall or transferring money from your bank account, whatever makes sense for your application, you can authenticate it. If you like what you saw, please share this video to spread the word that authentication can be easy. Tweet us any questions at Twofer, engage in, our, in conversation on our Facebook page, or send us whatever makes sense or doesn't make sense to support at twofer.com and we'll do our best to provide a good response. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you.